Hello, I'm Sam Horn, and this is this week's issue of our Better Newsletter. Whether you're striving to be better personally or professionally, the Better Newsletter is here to help you get there one week at a time. Our aha this week is from Jim Rohn, who said, your life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. Our anecdote this week, the first day of my new year by the water, I was driving to Chesapeake Bay to stay in a beachfront home that a friend had graciously loaned me. The only problem, a hurricane was headed there too. As I got closer, I thought to myself, why drive into a hurricane? Another voice in my head said, well, because I made a commitment, of course. And the rational voice said, but this is unsafe. And under the circumstances, maybe it's okay, even advisable to break that promise. Agreed. So I called up my friend and told her I wasn't coming. And she said, good decision. My epiphany, where else in my life have I been keeping commitments out of habit or integrity that are no longer relevant or healthy? If we know we're headed into a hot mess and we're doing it simply because we said we would or because we've done it before, maybe it's wise to go against Nike's advice and just not do it. Yes, honoring our word is important, but our strength taken to an extreme is our Achilles heel. And I understand that keeping commitments no matter what had become my Achilles heel. If a relationship or commitment is not working anymore, if you wish you hadn't made this promise and want to change things, why not have a conversation with your client or colleague or friend to get their point of view? Maybe together, you can come up with a more effective course correction that benefits both of you. Next time you're about to drive into a hurricane, ask yourself why. You may discover that you can bypass the drama and the trauma and end up with a new path that's a win for everyone. Our action, get out your phone or your journal and reflect on this question. Is there anything in my life I do out of habit any commitments that I'm keeping that are no longer relevant or healthy? Am I driving into a hurricane? Sit in the discomfort of questioning this habitual behavior for a moment or two and the price of keeping this promise and then choose whether you want to continue, no judgment, whether you want to reach out to that person and see if you can renegotiate a healthier win-win commitment or whether you want to Choose a different option that better serves you now and in the future. Until next time, I'm Sam Horn. Here's to getting better.